Hello everyone, Nathan Zimmerman here, and today I'd like to show off to you my latest generation of the Zolus controller. And what this system is designed to do is it is designed to talk over Wi-Fi to a Windows PC or Android tablet, and then it also will communicate with a switch that allows you to simply plug in a device that you're trying to control and get feedback through a thermal couple input or analog input. And what makes this system special and the whole point of this video is to show off the software. And so this controller is what is called a Universal Model Predictive Learning System. And while that sounds complicated, uh, this intelligent software makes the control of this device incredibly easy and incredibly powerful. But what this software allows you to do is it allows you to simply click on the screen and create your own temperature profile in a matter of seconds. And then it will also allow you to modify that profile to whatever you want. Now you'll see this red line here and what that is is it's a prediction of your system because it is a learning system. It mathematically models your system as it's controlling it and then it uses this information to learn the physics of the system as well as its limitations. For example, uh, this is an oven system, and um, as you well know, an oven can't instantaneously change in temperature. So here I'm asking it to change to uh, 250 degrees Celsius in under a minute, and since the system has physical constraints, uh, it cannot actually meet that. Whereas if I ask it something uh, more feasible, it will actually meet and control and meet that curve uh, optimally. And so how it learns and how it gets that mathematical model is when you buy the system, uh, you'll first need to train it on whatever you're trying to control. And so I have some presets here, and then you can also configure further how many inputs, how many outputs you have, and what exactly each of those do. I hit train now, it will run through a training profile, and then when it is done, it will give you a mathematical model that you can then use to predict uh, ahead of time how good of control you will be able to achieve. And the reason it's able to track this system so well is because it's using a control technology, as I mentioned earlier, which is model predictive control. Now, many of you may have heard of a control method called uh, PID control. Now, PID stands for Proportional Integral Derivative, and uh, this control technology is over a hundred years old. It does not make use of the physics of the system, nor does it attempt to predict uh, future needs and desires such that you meet a curve optimally. Uh, because of the learning, it can allow you to tune the PID controller ahead of time. Uh, but no matter how you try to tune it, you will never be able to achieve this curve in the same way that uh, model predictive control can do. Um, however, I still give you the option should you so choose to try to use this uh, control scheme. However, I would definitely recommend uh, using the model predictive control. Another cool thing about the model predictive control is that it will learn multiple inputs and multiple outputs. Uh, for example, when I first trained this system with the oven, I configured one of the inputs to be a cooling input. And so with that, as you can see here, um, with my profile, I try to tell it to cool down too quickly. However, when I trained the system, there was actually a box fan pointed at it. And so it learned the characteristics of that box fan and how it would affect the system. And so you can see when I enable that output, it will control the system better and achieve uh, better cooling. So that is uh, one nice feature is that you can learn what various outputs do as well as their effects on the system and how they can improve the control of the system. So in addition to that, uh, this software has a lot of practical features. For example, you can change the time base between second minutes and hours. You can change the temperature units between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Um, this profile here is a time varying profile. You can also, for example, have a constant temperature profile. And if you want that to uh, loop forever, you uh, simply enable that option and it will run until you stop it. 
Uh, you can also, of course, uh, save your temperature curve. You can save your profile. You can save data that you can collect. Um, and that will be available via this uh, profile tab. In addition, I've already talked about this tab, which is the learning tab. And here you can train your system as well as uh, choose various models. For example, if I try to use the uh, fridge model, with a heating curve, um, the system knows ahead of time that there's no possible way a fridge could heat up to 150 degrees Celsius. Uh, so that's a learning tab, and I also have an options tab, which has some practical features um, regarding the device. Um, for example, it will force you to set a Wi-Fi password, and then that will run now on a secure network. And on top of that secure network, there is another layer of uh, security for additional protection. You can also change the name of your network and then there's some other options as well such as if you want to use the analog input as opposed to the uh, thermal couple input. And this allows you to control not only temperature systems uh, but whatever type of system you can um, think of uh, using a sensor that outputs a voltage. So that's a basic overview of the software as well as the features that it has. Um, in a sec here, I'll run a profile for you to show you the, uh, the capabilities of the system. And uh, yeah, other than that, um, you can get the software online, of course. Um, it's cross-platform, so you can get it uh, for your phone or your tablet via the, uh, the Google Play Store for Android systems, or you can also get it through for a slew of other operating systems such as uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux via the Chrome Web Store. So I'll have these links uh, in the YouTube description. And uh, feel free to try these systems out. Uh, to be honest, I've only tested it on Windows and Android, uh, but hopefully it should work as well uh, with the other common operating systems. Uh, so with that, uh, thanks for watching, and let us see how well this system performs.